This is how you connect Convertry's webhooks to Product Dyno. And what this will let you do is, if you're using Product Dyno to deliver your products, then it means whenever someone buys your product in Convertry, Product Dyno will automatically give them access so you won't have to match anything up, it'll do it all automatically. Right now we've got webhooks for one-time sales and subscriptions. On the 28th of November 2017 we should also be adding refunds, so after that point you'll be able to refund your product from within the Convertry system and Product Dyno will automatically revoke that user's access. So this makes the whole product delivery system completely automatic. There shouldn't be any manual work for you after you've got it all set up. So this video is going to run through how to do this. So what we're going to do is connect this David Bowie membership product in Convertry to this David Bowie membership product in Product Dyno. We've got all our content here, and when our customers buy this product, we want them to get access to this. So the first thing to do in Product Dyno is to set up Convertry as a payment processor. So we go to Global Integrations, Payment Processors, Add Payment Processor, and then select Convertry. You can give it any nickname you want, I've just called it Convertry because that's easy, and then add your secret key in here. You can get your secret key from your Convertry account. Go to the top right menu, and then Sales Settings, and you'll find your webhook secret key here. If you haven't set this up already, you can type anything you want in this box. It could be a jumble of letters and numbers, or it can be a phrase, it really doesn't matter. As an example, I've used False Names for this demo, because False Names is a brilliant song by a guy called John Joseph Brill, and I went to one of his gigs last night. What you should do is enter a random string of letters and numbers, because that's far harder to guess, but like I said, this is just a demo. So when you've got your secret key, copy it from here. and paste it into the box here on Product Dyno, and then hit save. We've now added Convertry as a payment gateway. Then go to the product you want to sell in Product Dyno, and select Payment Gateways. Then add, add title, again you can call this anything you want, and select Convertry from the drop-down list. Now in Gateway Product ID, you need to get your product ID from Convertry. You can find that by opening the product from the products list in Convertry, and selecting the long code from the URL. That's everything between product slash and slash edit. Then we stick that in Gateway Product ID. The other bits here you don't need to worry about. Payment processor accounts is for when you've got more than one Convertry account connected to your Product Dyno account. This will let you select which of those Convertry accounts you want to use. Expired settings is something you can add in Product Dyno if you want the link to stop working at a given time. For instance, if you are only doing this as a time limited sale. So now that's in there, we click on Save, and now it'll be taken here, and you'll see Product Dyno has created you a unique IPN for this product. So copy that and then add it into the webhook IPM box in the product listing, and then hit save. So that's it, that's now everything set up. When someone buys this product, Product Dyno will know and automatically send them access to it. If you've already got a checkout page for this product live, you might need to republish it before the webhook takes effect.